we had a busy weekend last weekend, but we're back to sister carting at Walmart. Here we go. Let's check it out. See what we find. Okay, so we're here in the produce section. And as we can see, the smaller amount of blueberries are a little bit dwindling there. A little dwindling. And then as we head over to some of the vegetables back there, there's some whole we see back there. Oh, look at those greens. Yeah. yeah. It's not bright and shiny. Yeah, usually it's a lot more green from what we've seen before. Exactly. These are their refrigerated, which looks okay even here on some of their, what is this supposed to be? These are pickles and bacon ranch. Well, if you're into the dipping vegetables into sauces, that's a little bit low. And again, even look, what we're seeing, their cucumbers, I think, up ahead. Here's their greens. And then even their kale greens are a little bit down. Compared to what we saw at other stores. Well, but the main fruits that most people get, it looks like they're they okay have it. with that. Exactly. They have a lot of carrots here. Exactly. You see the yeah. celery. That's true. Okay, so these are apples. And they do have apples, but again, compared to what we've seen in other places, they have visible, empty, not yep. even a whole hole. It's it's a empty. complete empty basket. Apple and rosa are nothing. That basket, empty. Let's go. Apples again, and some fruit. Look at the peaches right there going down. So the produce is just not as plentiful as we see. I mean, over here they do have a lot of apples. It's full there. And then turning around on this side, there's salads, visible holes, yeah. spinach, arugula. So all these spring mixes dwindling as well. Now, we are not actually Walmart shoppers, so we don't know if this is new or it's always been like this, but here in the juices, the spaces are very noticeable. So, and even look the at salads, all, of this, all of this space, all these holes. Now, there so, is someone stocking some salads, but still, there's a lot of holes. In the frozen section and this is what we're seeing yes again not walmart shoppers but this is very noticeable this is this distinguishes from every place we've been to so far this is the their potatoes so their french fries and stuff like that it's their frozen area look completely. and their pizzas first of all it's a mess I have to yeah say. and there's a lot of visible holes a here. lot of a holes lot. A, lot. a lot of space look at down here so, I mean, I've noticed pizza going down other places, but this is completely different on another scale. Yeah. So, as you can tell, we can't compare. We don't know how. We don't it know. Was, but but then even down there, look, it's empty here. Yeah. A lot of holes. This here is their seafood area. All salmon platform. Atlantic salmon to sockeye salmon, but as you can see, I mean, there is some salmon, but a lot of fish here. A lot of space. A lot of space. This is more on their ground beef. There's organic coal here. And organic. Meat. On their ground beef, they're very low. Yeah. Lot of visible space here, so and even with that, the price per pound. What does it say? What does it say? I don't even know if it's all it says is 15 16. Oh, four, 15, four, that's no, 4.5 pounds. It doesn't pounds. say, but it's saying how much it is. It's not even saying the, the, price, the price of the meat, or maybe here. Three ninety four per pound here. Oh, three ninety nine a pound over here. Three ninety nine a pound for ground beef. There we go. Ground beef, three ninety nine a pound. Yeah. So, but their selection. Yeah, their selection is, is very limited. Very scarce. Very limited. Very if scarce. If you're looking for specific cuts, specific types of meats, you gotta get them. Here quick we go. Stew. Here's our favorite. Six ninety eight per pound. Completely off. 
flour and meat and fish. Look, empty with mixing. And look at that. I mean, we were just talking about it that we know it's been one week since we did sister party. Yes. But we have been to the stores, so we don't know if this is just a dramatic change, if Walmart's always like this. But this is very, very noticeable. We see it now, so we'll definitely keep an eye out throughout the week for this. Okay, please, if anyone shops at Walmart in South Florida, please let us know if you have seen this, because this is even the alcohol section. The beers holds, and okay. a lot of them. And it holds all the way down there, as you can see, completely. So, if this is common, please reach out, because look at this it's a lot i mean so far from what we've seen this is the most hole we've seen in every aisle we've walked through so far yes even here on the walls even some of the wines down there the beers on the walls there are space there's space there a lot of space but they're empty over there of some beers wow so, yeah that's um that's big <laughs> Then we can check it out to see if yeah. it's just today, if it's just the store, I don't know. Looking at the cans, they have cans, but compared to what we've seen, like a Presidente, Bravo, even when Dixie, even yes. when Dixie, there's a lot of visible holes, a lot, and in the mayonnaise holes, you could see for yourself. Look at, you could see all the spaces, all the gaps between all the condiments, the cans, the pasta sauce. Pasta sauce. And look at all of these gaps. Again, it is here, but... Oh, here we go. This is the pasta. Oh, here is our pasta. Oh my, this is, okay. Okay. This is the worst we have seen. You're getting our live reaction to this right We now. thought Publix was bad. This is not even comparable to Publix. Publix is plentiful compared to this because I, I'm looking now and I cannot find spaghetti. Just tic tac or right here, I, like, the spaghetti. That's it. That's a lot of corner spaghetti right there. I, I'm shocked because what we've seen at even Sedanos was good. It was pretty I mean, good. Presidente, Bravo, and Keep were probably the best, but every other person we've been to was not like this. I'm like this. Look, it's almost an it's almost all empty shelves of pasta. And it's every brand. It's not just like their brand. It's every brand. Oh, we got from Ronzoni to Mueller's to Barilla. All of this almost completely gone. I can't. I don't think there's any fettuccine at all like i don't see anything so you this can see but even look mashed potato, instant mashed, mashed potatoes, potatoes. We're looking at this and looking on this ketchup. side ketchups you see look one lone ketchup on that shelf completely empty down there like everything is dwindling at least here from what we have at seen at least here now i feel like we have to go back to one of those other stores to see to how see they are how it is because, because we did not see this at all. It might have been about two weeks ago, but still, this is a big, vis very visible. Let's check for IDs. They're dwindling. The macaronis, they get the Valditas, the Annie's, all of these. Like, this is probably the most, right here, somewhat stock that we've seen here. <laughs> is the mixed vegetables. So, this is the most stock right here. Uh, I, I, as you can probably tell in our voices, yeah, we're shocked. We're shocked at this. We're shocked. We really are. These are box rices and some beans. Here we go. And again, it speaks for itself. Yep. There's the bag of beans on this side. And then the rice is supposed to be down here. And as you can see, not much selection at all. Especially in the small bags. Yeah. You have to come get your rice quick because, or use the quick rice cookers that are up here because, or go to one of those stores exactly. and make it even more. I mean, again, I want to stop by Presidente had the rice to stacked, stacked high. Which could happen now after we see this, this could happen. So look at all of, yeah, this is all we have. It is big bags here of jasmine rice and down here. I'm sorry. Here are the sugars. Now, the one thing we will say is that we did see a packet that means that they are stocking, but we saw oats in there. Yeah, the pallets are behind us, and mm -hmm. I didn't see sugars, but at least they have a pallet there. Really Maybe go. they're stocking, but even if they're stocking, the fact that it goes down this low it could uh, say something. Exactly. Um, 
And behind us is flour. I would say it looks better, but it's shortened. I'll say that. It's shortened. Exactly. It's just shortened. Um, it's better than what we've seen so far. It here, is better. Baking flour. soda, and there's holes. Almond, a little bit more up there. A little bit more of the more unique flowers. But overall, still some spaces. Yeah. Okay, looking here at their bread section. Gaps again. A whole entire empty A shelf. whole shelf. Two of them. One loaf. <laughs> one single loaf down there, and then the one below that, yeah, two complete empty shelves of bread. So as you can see, it's the white bread, butter bread, some honey wheat, but not much variety. They have bread, they have bread but it's not what anybody's used to, and I've seen, we have seen more stock bread before. Yep. Right. We just finished the stocking at Walmart. Walmart. Hey, you guys saw the result of that. <laughs> yeah, we were a bit surprised at what we saw. Curious, so we're stopping by Bravo Supermarket to see how it is in here. Yeah, to see the stock here. Take a look. First thing we're noticing here, they're greens. They're greens. Well, back at Walmart, we saw some space, lots of spaces. Very you see full greens here, and look at all these vegetables they have in supply. I mean, yeah, there's a little scarcity over there with the green onions, but you see all the basic leaf vegetables here. And compared to Walmart, Bravo is closing soon, so and they still have a lot here on the shelves. Here in the meat, compared to what we saw at Walmart, yes, where there was a lot of scarcity of variety and actual product. Like we were so much in doubt, we had to come back. Like we this, to. this looks just like it did when we were here last time. Exactly. Like we were thinking maybe it's this weekend, maybe because we skipped a week, something might have happened, but we had to see if it was a store or something other. But as you can see, there's meat. There's meat here. Here we go. Walking down their can section, it still looks like what we saw. It's pushing back a little bit, yes. A little bit. Not too much though. But my heart is resting better now because apparently there is supply available. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're some, they are wholesale. I yeah, mean, they're, again, they're making it look fuller than it is. Yes, so uh, compared to what we saw last time, there are maybe a little bit more holes back there, but again, they are closing it's a Sunday, and they're pastas. Here we are. This is a huge difference. It's complete. Here, look, there's fettuccine. There is spaghetti, linguine, where I couldn't find it. Yes, there are gaps. Yes. Especially in the linguine, there are gaps in the Romzoni. Uh, yeah, compared, again, to what we saw last time we were here, there are holes. I remember we were trying to push back last time, yeah. and we couldn't. We couldn't. Now we could. We could a little bit. Still a little full, but we could push back. But there's more than pasta. There's, there's supply. More pasta. Yeah. Okay, just like Holy. Riley says, our hearts are resting. <laughs> Look at the selection and variety. It actually looks exactly how it looked in your last yes, year. Yes, it did. And the oh, prices okay. are the same, $11.99 for the 20 but They are still limiting one, we don't know why. Their yeah. Goya is special, $9.99 for 20 pounds. That's pretty good. That's a very good price. Yeah. And it's a pretty good selection. There is rice. You're looking for rice. Bravo has rice. And a lot. This is lot. such a difference to what we just saw at Walmart. They, yeah, they actually have a lot. So as compared to a big market store, this is a small store. Mm -hmm. so. And here we go. The smaller bags of rice where Walmart had like what, one or two or some scattered. We saw shelves that were seriously just empty. Here, yes, there's space, there's gaps, but we see rice. There are gaps. I mean, there are more visible gaps than what you saw last time, but there's rice. There's rice, exactly. Okay, there we have it. We sister carded at Walmart, and based on what we saw at Walmart, we had to go to at least we, one other store. We had to. We just had to go somewhere else just to make sure it wasn't just Walmart if this was a trend. Yeah, so it's it was definitely a shock because we did not expect that. Oh, the little oh, ducks. Duckies. Aww. Aww. <laughs> 
Anyway, it was it was a shock because if we were just shopping at Walmart, we would be scared. Yes, if I mean, that was our only store. Honestly, seeing that did scare us because it's been a week since we sister card it. So we're like, okay, did something majorly change? But when we went to Bravo, we did see, okay, maybe it's a little bit less. Yes, but if you need somewhere to shop. Right. Right there, especially yeah. the smaller store. That was a big sigh of relief. It was. So uh, we'll be checking out more stores. Yeah, though. we will check it out, see how it is overall with stock. But as of right now, we would recommend smaller stores. Yeah. Okay, this All right. is Rebecca. And Riley. Bye. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Hit that like. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye.